Hello, I am Sydney and I am finally filming a stretch video. This will just be a short, um, really accessible yoga stretch video. I, I have heard <laughs> the request. <laughs> I've had so many conversations with adjusters and other um, insurance professionals that have just said, I want to stretch, I want to move, but I don't know where to start or what to do. Um, and so that is a huge reason of why we created PCS Wellness, which is the channel that I'll be sharing these videos from. And so today we're just going to do some nice, simple stretches. I'm going to walk you through everything and you can just use this anytime anywhere you don't need equipment i do have a yoga mat here but that's just because i have wood floors and they're not very soft or comfortable so if you have if you're in a hotel room or you're at home you can easily just do this on uh, the carpet or a rug um, or you could go buy a super cheap yoga mat if you would like to so that's really all you need for this specific video the other thing I am going to let you know is that you will hear my breath. I'm wearing this microphone and also um, the yoga, you're not doing yoga if you're not breathing. And so that's something that so many of us don't do <laughs> properly or even, you know, sometimes you'll notice that you're holding your breath for really no reason. And so um, I want you, I want you to hear that and I want that to be an invitation to join me and to connect with your breath throughout um, these stretches and these poses. So um, audible breath is definitely a good thing. So just join me and I hope that this helps you. So today we're gonna start in a pose called corpse pose. And if you've ever been to a yoga class before, this you'll know that this is how we end a class. Um, almost every single time. So this is where you're just going to lay on your back with your allowing your feet to just kind of open to the sides. Your palms are facing up toward the sky and you're just letting your body melt into the floor, the mat, the earth, and just trying to release any tension, any work that you're trying to do to hold yourself up. Just release that here. And we'll just start to take some nice deep breaths. So let's inhale through the nose. And then let's sigh it out. Let's just take a few more breaths like that. And this, from this point on, We'll just inhale through the nose, maybe th for a count of three to four seconds. Take a quick pause at the top of the breath, and then also exhale through the nose for a count of three to four seconds. So it's still a little bit audible, but we're not doing any mouth breathing if we can help it. So on your next inhale, let's come into a full body stretch, just getting as long as you possibly can here. Lower back might come off of the mat. Our fingers and our toes are stretched, pointing in opposite directions here. Let's take a couple more breaths. Let's take one more inhale. And then as we exhale, bring your right knee into your chest. You can clasp your hands in front of your knee. And we'll inhale back to a full body stretch. And exhale, bring your left knee in to your chest. And we'll just alternate between sides here. Just inhaling on your stretch. And exhaling when you bring a knee in. And 
And the next time we bring our right knee into our chest, let's just stay here and breathe, circling out the ankle, maybe flexing and pointing the toes. And just keep breathing here. You might hear some cracking or some popping if your ankle, if you're not used to moving your, your joints like this, and that's totally fine. Take one more breath here. And we'll inhale back to a full body stretch. And exhale, bring that left knee into your chest as far as it'll go and start circling out your left ankle. Just doing whatever feels good here. Take one more breath. And we'll inhale back to a full body stretch. Exhale, bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet to your mat directly behind your hips. And we're gonna have our hands by our sides here. Let's inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips up for bridge pose. Exhale, bring your hips back down to the mat. Inhale, lift the hips. We're just gonna keep flowing like this. Exhale, lower back down. Next time we come up for bridge, let's stay here and breathe. Let's take one more breath here. And we'll just lower back down to the mat. Let's keep our feet where they are and just let your knees kind of windshield wiper to each side. It really doesn't matter which side you start with here. Maybe bring your arms out into a T if you have enough space. I clearly don't really have enough space right here, but maybe you do. And then let's inhale back to a full body stretch one last time here. And exhale, bring both knees into your chest, rock side to side, just nice and gentle, little spine massage here. Let's take one last breath here. And then grab behind your thighs and we'll just be a little playful here. Maybe rock up onto your shoulders and come up into a seated position. And then we'll come, we'll flip over, come to our hands and knees. This is called tabletop position. So what you'll do is have your wrists directly under your shoulders, your knees directly under your hips. And we're gonna come into cat cow. So let's inhale, you'll drop the belly toward the floor, gaze forward and exhale, push the floor away, round your spine and tuck your chin. Inhale back cow, drop the belly, gaze forward, and exhale, round your spine for cat. And we'll just keep flowing between these poses. Let's take one more round. And we'll come back to a neutral spine. Let's walk the knees back a little bit further and then come onto the belly. Our palms are gonna be directly under our shoulders here. Let's inhale up into baby cobra. So we're gonna inhale, press the tops of the feet into the mat and lift your chest. And exhale, just release back down to the mat. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. So here we're really letting the back body do the work. We're not putting a lot of weight into our palms. That's why we're pressing our feet into the mat. The kneecaps are lifting off of the mat as well. And then we release everything down. 
Next time we come up for baby cobra, let's just stay here and breathe. So we're not trying to come up super high off of the mat in this particular instance, but we're just, just enough that we can feel our back body working a little bit. And just keep breathing. One more breath here. And then we'll lower back down to the mat. Let's make a forearm pillow with our right arm. Bend your left knee. Reach back and see if you can grab the top of your left foot. Just for a nice gentle quad stretch here. And we'll breathe. One more breath. And just release that foot. We'll switch arms and then bend your right knee. Reach back for the top of your right foot. One more breath. And just release that foot back. Let's plant our palms under our shoulders. We'll tuck our toes and then just press back to a child's pose. So our knees can be as wide as we want them here. If the wider that you make them, the easier it can be. So we'll sit our hips back onto our heels if we can and stretch our arms forward. Release our forehead to the mat. This should feel really nice in the lower back. You can gently rock side to side here if that sounds good to you. One last breath here. And then just lift your head off the mat, walk your palms back towards you, yourself. And that's it for today. So I hope that this um, helped you. I hope that those stretches made your body feel a little bit better today. And I will see you soon.